Your car guy here. There are a lot of solutions when it comes to OBD2 code readers that are out there on the market. This one from Think Car, uh, the Think Diag. This is a Bluetooth dongle that'll plug into your OBD2 port, and then you'll download the software on your phone. And this is a powerful tool. It's going to have special features that you're able to do, such as your steering angle resets, your um, throttle position resets. It's also going to have uh, electronic brake, park brake resets, injector programming, as well as others, ABS brake bleeds, etc. Et so this one is a powerful tool. It has over 15 special functions, as well as being able to read and clear diagnostic codes with the OBD2 that is on all cars in the US at least since 1997. So we're gonna get this out, we're gonna play with it. We'll see how well it does. So what you get, when you open the box is there will be a set of instructions as well as the actual tool. So what's nice here, if you'll look right here on these instructions, I've got our serial number and our activation code. You're going to need that when you go and uh, set this tool up and you're going to use your phone to download the Think Car app. First, I've got instructions, two booklets. These are uh, all in different languages. Now, I don't need that one because it doesn't have anything in it for English, and I can only read English. So this one will be fine. Here's our actual tool. It's not too big, which makes it kind of nice, something you could actually keep with you in the car very easily without it taking up a lot of space. And you'll plug it right into your OBD2 port. But you don't wanna do that yet. The first thing you gotta do is we wanna get the Think Car app set up on our phone, and we want to get it registered before we plug this into the vehicle. So we'll go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we wanna get the Think Diag Plus app. So we'll download that either in the App Store or uh, the Google Play Store. Once I have the app downloaded, I can then proceed to log in with a verification code in case I don't already have a username and password, but I'm going to set one up. It'll ask for our email. We'll put that in. I'm not going to show you my email, but we'll put it in and we'll get logged in. Once you have the app downloaded, you're going to want to go to where you can activate a device. We'll enter our serial number and our activation code down here at the bottom. Once I have the software downloaded and I'm registered, then I can go and look at specific manufacturers that I would like to download software for. And you'll see that they have just about every manufacturer that you can think of. Once I've downloaded the software that I want, I can now go with my dongle plugged into the vehicle and the vehicle on and go to Bluetooth to connect. And it will automatically try to connect. But in this case, I need to turn my Bluetooth on. Now, I don't want to um, necessarily uh, try to connect directly in the phone to the Bluetooth. I want to connect in the app. So I'm working in the app here. Now I can go in and do my um, all systems diagnostics. This is telling us about VIN decoding. So I can do a VIN scan with it connected. It's going to scan for the VIN number of the vehicle that I've got and look for uh, that information. If it doesn't find it, I can then look it up by the type of vehicle uh, or I can enter the VIN manually. But you'll see that it's searching for the VIN and it will try to locate that. It did find it in this case on my Mercedes and then they'll give me my options as it's loading the rest of the information. So it found my VIN code. It'll ask me if that's correct. I'm gonna click yes. Now, it's gonna ask which 211 E-Class based on year so that it gets the right information and I'll select it. Now, I've got different things I can do. I can do a health report, a system scan or system selection. Again, I went into the all system data. We'll do a system scan. And it's telling me that I'm, do I want to carry it out? Ignition is on. 
Now it is scanning the entire vehicle, all of the electronic control modules that are in the vehicle. And in a Mercedes, there are quite a few. So you'll see that the transmission module, uh, this Tronic, electronic selector module. So it's gonna run through and scan all of my modules on this vehicle. So it finished scanning, it took a little over three minutes, but if you look at just the number of modules that were scanned here, um, it's an impressive amount because it's a Mercedes. But then I can go to each individual module and see, hey, what's going on with there? I wanna go into the transmission module. I can read the fault codes for that individual module. See, there's no fault in my transmission. I can clear the faults, read data stream, do actuation tests and special functions there as well. Uh, let's go to um, engine control module. I should have some codes in this. I'm gonna go into the engine control module, confirm that my ignition is on. I'm gonna read my fault codes at the right spot. Read the fault codes for the engine. Okay. I got oxygen sensor codes. I got purge air code. I got a fuel tank level sensor that's starting to have issues. And load limit is active. Wow. Pretty cool. There's freeze frame data available as well. I'm going to clear my fault code information. It wants us to switch off the ignition and then confirm that. Ignition off, confirmed. It's gonna do a 10 second wait. Not all vehicles is it required to switch the ignition off on clearing fault codes. It'll depend on the manufacturer. Now it's gonna ask me to switch it back on and confirm that. Confirm that we are switched back on. And it has completed clearing all of our codes. Now I could read those fault codes again, and there's no faults. Now I can do system selection where I can just pick the specific system I wanna go into. And I can work from there uh, just to run through an individual system. I can also run a health report. This is gonna be similar that this is gonna run a quick test. I'm gonna confirm it and it's gonna scan the modules again. And this time it's gonna tell me which ones uh, have codes and which ones do not. As you can see, as it's scanning, it'll tell me if that particular module has any faults or if there are faults in that module. I could pause my scan and then I could look at each individual uh, component or module and see what my faults are. So once it's completed and I see my different faults, then I can go into those individual components and I can clear the diagnostic trouble codes or I can run a fault report. Here I am clearing all of the trouble codes through the entire car. Now, if we go back to the main menu, we see we've got the all systems diagnostics, which we did. We've got OBD functions and we've got maintenance functions, and then we can generate reports. OBD functions is we're gonna scan emissions related issues in the powertrain. So that'd be your emission codes and uh, other codes that set the check engine light. The maintenance functions, this is where we're gonna use the most um, common maintenance reset functions, such as just like it says here, our oil reset or ABS bleed reset. DPF if I had a diesel. And we'll see that we have quite a bit up available out there. Our battery monitoring system, gearbox, brakes, DPF, EGR, electronic throttle system, a mobilizer, so our keys, injectors, oil reset, steering angle sensor reset, suspension, sunroof, tire pressure monitoring systems. And again, it's gonna be depending on what is available in the module of the vehicle you're working on. So just because this function shows here doesn't necessarily mean that it is um, available 
for this specific vehicle because it may not be part of that vehicle. So once we've downloaded it, we can then open that immobilizer queue and it would be the same for any one of these. And then we'll be able to work with that function. So after going through the warnings, we can select the type of vehicle that we're working on. In this case, it is the Mercedes Benz. And we got the ignition on. Now, we could disable a key or look at the smart key system or do some remote control manual setup. Tailgate control system, that's pretty cool. So having these functions makes this a very powerful and useful tool, particularly when you need to do some of these functions like a throttle position reset after you've cleaned your throttle body or if you need to reset your tire pressure monitor system if the vehicle is equipped with it. And again, it's gotta be that the vehicle you're working on is equipped with it. Just because this functionality is here doesn't mean your individual vehicle has that ability. The ABS brake bleed, very important if we're doing um, brakes on a vehicle that is equipped with ABS as air can get trapped in the ABS module itself and that'll help keep that from happening. So pretty powerful tool for what it is. It's nice that you're using your phone um, and not having to be tethered to a cord is really quite nice when it comes to using this uh, software. You'll see when we ran the OBD2 tests, we'd already cleared the codes, but you'll see that there's readiness codes that are completed or readiness for uh, emissions monitoring and those that aren't completed because we already cleared the code. You'll see that we can look at our readiness, see which ones are complete, which ones are not. We can read the data stream, so if I'm diagnosing a fault code, that's very helpful. We can read freeze frame data from when it does set a code. I can read them clear fault codes from here, and I can do O2 system sensor monitoring and onboard monitoring. Control operation of onboard component systems. A pretty cool little tool with a lot of functionality for a variety of vehicles. You can let me know your thoughts on this little tool. I think it's a pretty powerful tool for the money. Uh, it's nice to have the wireless feature being able to work on the vehicle without having a cord keeping me pinned. And uh, the functionality that it has is quite good. So I think it's a good option. Uh, especially if you're looking to do more than just read and clear your OBD2 diagnostic codes. If you want to look at more of your modules, particularly on newer vehicles, there's so many modules that are controlling individual items. You can have codes and it's never going to set a code. It may not even act in any way funny, but it can help you see what's going on. This could also be great if you're looking at purchasing a vehicle to go in and search. So an example would be on this particular car, the check engine light does not actually work. But if I were to plug this in, I could see that there were codes and not be fooled uh, before buying a vehicle or see that there may be an issue or maybe that the emission monitors haven't been completed, which would indicate that somebody had just cleared all the codes and the vehicle hasn't been driven far enough to see if they're going to come back. I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video where you can purchase this tool. Please like and share the videos and subscribe to the channel.